Now briefly, because I have little time left, I have to keep track of the time. My khutbah in English is not going to be the one I gave in Arabic. Firstly, because I've spoken about Robert de Villa in English, and I think many of you that understand English have heard it before. What I wanted to talk to you about in English is it, uh, some brief comments from an ayah of the Qur'an. When Allah Azza wa Jal says, وَجَعَلْ لَكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلَ لِتَعَارَفُوا Allah Azza wa Jal in this ayah tells all of us why He made us different. I speak a different language than you. I have a different skin color than you. I have a different culture than you. And this ayah didn't even begin, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا This ayah began, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسِ it began, Ya Ayyuhan Nas. Which means in this ayah, Allah is teaching the Muslims something that they have to teach all of humanity. This message is not just for the Muslims, this message is for all human beings, but it will not reach all of the human beings until the Muslims teach it. But the Muslims cannot teach something they haven't learned themselves. Now, this ayah is commonly translated, That we made you into nations and tribes so you can know one another. But actually the word sha'ab, very interesting, the word sha'ab actually is from Lughatul Adad, they say in Arabic. It's from the language of opposites. And this word actually means many things. And of them is actually, number one, of something to be spread. Al-jama'ah. Wa tafriq Lisanul Arab yaqul. Al-jama'ah wa tafriq fi ma'ani sha'ab. Wa shaq aydan. It's a crack also. Now the meanings derived from this by Mufassirun are, you know, we are, you can have the, the Egyptians are a sha'ab. The Algerians are a sha'ab. The Pakistanis are a sha'ab. But actually, each one of them is individual. You cannot judge an entire people, they're all the same. Oh, I know all the Egyptians, they're all the same. I know all the Algerians, they're all the same. I know all the Indonesians, they're all the same. No, they're not all the same. They're actually individuals. So the first thing we're learning in this ayah is Allah made you unique individuals. So you have a national identity, but you also have a unique identity. But the other thing we learned in this ayah is that the word sha'ab actually means a hole, like you know, a hole in the wall that you have to patch up. And the suggestion there is every nation has some strengths, but every nation also has some holes, some issues. And every other nation, Allah gave them some other strengths. And He did this so that we depend on each other. So no one nation is perfect. Just like no one human being is perfect. You have many problems and your brother helps you with your problems. You have flaws and your wife helps you with your flaws and you help your wife with her flaws. You have to help each other. Nobody's perfect. And if no human being is perfect, then no nation is perfect. And if when, when I am not perfect, I need my brother to help me, to give me advice, to correct me, to counsel me, to make me a better person, then every nation needs every other nation to improve. Allah made us dependent on each other. This is how He designed this world. He designed this world in this way, so we, we have to discover each other. You will learn some things about German culture that weren't part of your culture, but you really like them and you wish our people had it. And you, there will be something about our culture and you wish these people had it. You wish they had it. There will always be these things. What happens when people don't understand the ayat of the Qur'an is that they don't like the people who are not the same as them. They like to stay with their own people. But Allah Azza wa is saying, you can stay with your own people, but you have to learn from the other people. And you cannot learn from them until you go to them. Until you actually go to them, you engage with them. And then he said, وَقَبَائِلْ Which is also even more remarkable. Qabail comes from the Arabic word qabila, And qabila asluhu qabil. Qaba'il means who came before you and who came before you and who came before you, your ancestry they call it. It's very interesting that in this ayah Allah Azza wa Jal began, Ya ayyuhan nas, inna khalaqnakum min dhakarin wa untha. So where did we begin? With one man and one woman. So our qabil goes back to one man and one woman. So all of the qaba'il, if they go far back enough, where will they end up? With Adam alayhi salam and our mother Hawa salamun alayha. That's where they end up. How come then if we all go back to Adam and Hawa salamun alayhima, Allah still made us different qaba'il. It's a miracle from Allah. If Allah wanted, we could have all been the same skin color, same language, same culture, because we all have the same parents. But Allah chose to make us different. 
But when you call yourself a qabila, you don't. When, whenever you call yourself a qabila, you never allow yourself to forget that my qabila, if you go far back enough, goes back to Adam alayhi salam, which means I'm related to all human beings. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُرُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَارَفُوا So you can get to know each other. This is the message that we want to give to all human beings. But the problem with that is, the Muslims themselves aren't very nice to each other. We're not very nice to each other. We are very quick to judge each other. We're very quick to get angry at each other. We are very quick to argue with each other. We are very quick to abandon each other. You hear one thing from someone, you say, I will never talk to him again. You have one disagreement with someone, you give them up entirely. Our Rabb is not like that. We, I disobey him once and he doesn't say, forget Norman. He doesn't do that. He doesn't do that. He doesn't give up on me. But we, the Ibad of Ar-Rahman, have no Rahmah. <laughs> Subhanallah. How many people... How many, subhanAllah, you are gifted in this community. I saw there are lots of masajid in this neighborhood. And that's a ni'mah from Allah. And they can be different from each other. That's a reality. But it should not take away the love for you, you have for your Muslim brother who goes to another masjid. Who has some difference of ideas with you. It's okay. At the end of the day, you share La ilaha illallah with, with him. You share Muhammadur Rasulullah with him, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is more than enough. That is more than enough. That for you to love your brother. That you don't check, is he the same ideology as me? Same group as me? Same thought as me? Same, same race as me? Same fiqh as me? No, 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 don't check that. He just, he said salam to you, that's enough. <coughs> you know, don't say about someone who says salam to you, they don't have Iman. These are people of real, genuine faith. This is a commandment from Allah Azza wa We have to do this. So we, we need the development of a brotherhood, a real brotherhood in our community. This is something that takes a lot of work. And wallahi, wallahi, if we don't do this, then you know that we don't pay the price. Our children pay the price. We don't pay the price. We will be okay. We'll be fine. But you know what ha happens after them. Allah Azza wa Jal described this in the Quran. It's very clear. Very clear. When people don't get along with each other, the people of knowledge, وَمَا تَفَرَّقُوا إِلَّا مِن بَعْدِ مَا جَاءَهُمُ الْعِلْمُ بَغْيًا بَيْنَهُمْ Right? وَلَوْلَا كَلِمَةٌ سَبَقَتْ مِن رَبِّكَ إِلَىٰ أَجَلٍ مُسَمَّنْ لَقُضِيَا بَيْنَهُمْ وَإِنَّ الَّذِينَ أُورِثُوا الْكِتَابَ مِن بَعْدِهِمْ لَفِي شَكٍ مِنْ هُمُرِيمٍ those who received the book after them, those who inherited it, the next generation, after the generation who fights each other, the next generation is doubtful about the deen. And they're not just in doubt. Shak itself is doubt. Then you have the word murib, which is muta'addi, which actually means they're in doubt and they put others in doubt. They're not just in doubt. They put other people in doubt. We are living in those times. Maybe you don't get those emails, but I do. Brother, I'm not sure about Islam anymore. I don't think it's the right religion. If it was the right religion, why would the Muslims be fighting each other all the time? The Muslims in my masjid fight each other all the time. How can this be the religion that will unite humanity? I don't believe in this religion. I get those emails. I get those emails. And the people who are fighting each other, they think they're doing something for the sake of Allah. That is not the sake of Allah. That is the sake of our own pride. That is the sake of our own ego. We have to let that go. We have to save our children. We have to make, I said this in Arabic, I'll say this in English. We have to make the masajid in Western countries welcome for children. We have to make them welcome for children. We have to make them welcome for families even. Because where are they going to get Islam? Everything outside is calling them to Tuhyan, to Baghi. It's calling them to rebel against Allah, everything outside. The one place they can come closer to Allah and you get angry at them when you hear a little bit of noise from children. We heard some noise from children today and during the khutbah and some people made the face. Huh? Calm down. At least they're here. At least they're here. How many parents here are putting their children in Catholic school? At least some children are in the masjid. I'm happy at that. I'm not angry. I should be grateful that they're here. And I pray more of them are here. 
Yes, we have to control our children and not let them go wild, but you know, even if they do go a little wild, it is a small price to pay for a child to know that there is this place where everybody loves everybody else. Where it doesn't matter what you look like, you're not judged. You might get dirty looks when you're, when you're traveling outside, when you're waiting for a bus, when you're taking the train or the tram or whatever you take here. You might, some people might look at you differently like this guy. But when a child comes into the masjid and he sees that the African and the Arab and the Indian and the Turk and the Indonesian, they all look at me with love. They don't care what I look like. Then he realizes Islam is bigger than race. It's bigger than that. Where, is he, where are we going to teach that lesson if not here? We have to teach ourselves this lesson and we have to teach humanity this lesson, subhanAllah. But before we take it to the world, we have to learn it ourselves. وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَضَائِلَ لِتَعَرَفُوا And the ayah before even إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ إِخْوَا فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَا خَوَيْكُمْ Believers are nothing but brothers. Nothing but brothers. Now you tell me, do brothers fight? Yes. Brothers fight. But do they hate each other? No. And even when they fight, then, they, then their mother comes, slaps both of them, and they become brothers again. <laughs> you understand? It's okay if we disagree, but at the end of the day, we are brothers. We have to let it go. Family is more important. This shahada is more important. I'm not saying we will never fight. We will never argue. That's a reality. We will. It will happen. It will happen. But you know what? فَأَصْلِحُوا بَيْنَا خَوَيْكُمْ Make peace between your brothers. End the fight. Let it go. Let it go. Whenever, last, ne last next time you say Assalamu Alaikum, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah to someone. You know what Assalamu Alaikum means, right? Everybody knows what it means. But nobody knows what it means for your heart. When you say Assalamu Alaikum to your brother, it means I, I'm not angry at you. I have no grudge against you. I have no, uh, you know, arguments with you. I'm in my heart, to your heart, there's only peace. There's only peace. But what do we do? Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullah. <laughs> and we say salam to someone with such angry face. And we say salam and then we start arguing. That's not salam. When we say assalamu alaikum, the fight is over. It's done. And if it's not over, then remind yourself, Lima taquluna ma la taf'alun. Why do you say what you don't do? Don't say salam and you don't mean salam. Don't don't extend peace, but you're not peaceful. <laughs> Be peaceful when you say salam. May Allah Azza wa Jal make us a united people. A people that when they spread salam among each other, afshu salam, kama qala al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, spread salam. It doesn't just mean assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum, assalamu alaikum. It actually means spread, spread peace. Spread peace. Be peaceful among each other. May Allah make us of those people who spread peace and not fighting. That increase the love among the Muslims and not hatred among the Muslims. <laughs> and that may Allah Azza wa make us more patient towards each other when we test each other's patience. And more forgiving towards each other. And may He remove us from the things that spread hatred among the Muslims like ghibah. Like, you know, like these backbiting and talking behind each other's back and making fun of each other and ridiculing each other or calling each other jahil or anything else. May Allah remove us from those kinds of people. And may Allah unite us by La ilaha illallah. When we come into the house of Allah, it doesn't matter if I walk into a masjid in Germany, or I walk into a masjid in Switzerland, or I walk into a masjid in England, or in Malaysia, or in America. Once I walk into the masjid, I walk into my own house. And I'm meeting my own family. I don't speak their language, but they are my family and you're my family. That's how it's supposed to be. That's what we have to do. May Allah Azza wa Jal help us do that and may Allah Azza wa Jal soften our hearts towards his book. Barakallahu li wa lakum fil Qur'an al-Hakim wa nafa'ani wa iyaakum bil ayati wa dhikr al-Hakim. Alhamdulillahi wa kafaa wa salatu wa salamu ala ibadihi illa fina staffa khususan ala afdalihi wa khatam al nabiyin Muhammadin al-Amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Qala Allah Azza wa Jal fi kitabihi al-Kareem inna Allah wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi. Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima. اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد اللهم بارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد عباد الله رحمكم الله اتقوا الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربة وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر ولا ذكر الله أكبر والله يعلم ما تصنعون أقم الصلاة إن الصلاة كانت على المؤمنين كتابا موقوتا